have this idea to sort of vlog the last week of school for me. Um, yeah, um, so my last final is on Friday and I've just taken a shower. Um, but yeah, so it'd be cool because there's Eurovision on uh, Saturday, not Sunday. I've been saying that like for the past week. Um, and just bring you along, sort of try to and capture the last week or so of at proper school-ish uh, here in Glasgow. A couple of other roommates already finished school and stuff, but they're still here. So we'll try and do that and I'll bring you along. <gasps> She's working. Very good hot chocolate. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I like the vibe. I like the light. <gasps> I am the bread. But yeah, if you're in Glasgow, I think you should come here. It's nice. It closes at like 4.30, so. Get here early, yeah. And it's but quite it's, cheap, it's reasonable. Yeah, it's very cute. Mm -hmm. It's Buchanan Street. Look at her scone. <laughs> I know. I always just get jealous though because I'm just like. <sighs> oh, love her. I keep, I keep saying to people's response, like, like oh, love her. And like, don't know. I don't know if people know it's like a joke. I'll just like listen to Kathleen. I'm just like, love her. I don't know if you're love her or love her. Oh, no, love her. Like, love her? Yeah. Like, as in. ER. Like, yeah, it's one word, love her. Buchanan Street and went to a little cafe there and just had a nice little chat and then we stopped by Boots and then uh, it started raining on the way home which wasn't fun so now I'm just back like in the kitchen with no windows so it's horrible lighting and now I'm just gonna try to study a little bit because I have a German final on Friday but, but yeah we might try to do something with the flat tonight um that could be fun um or we'll just like eat together and then call that a day. But I'm just gonna try to study. So what are you doing tonight, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are you making for dinner? It's not ten o'clock. It's not ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock past. You know, it's but 10 o'clock is soup time. Now it's pasta time. Yeah. Also, what are you gonna watch tonight? Shrek 2. Shrek! I didn't know it was Shrek. Why is this on my head? I didn't know it was Shrek. I thought we were doing a good old. Dirty Dancing. Yeah, but I'm gonna Shrek. Oh, yeah, I can't run over real quick. 
That's mine. Yeah. I like both. Don't know why they're like this though. Why well, we're like, who's like what? Like what? Because we like Shrek. Do you not like Shrek, Susan? And it's. <laughs> I'm not like against it, but like. I've That's already seen a it. Like, I've already seen it. Both you know? animation, mm -hmm. screenwriting, and just general composition, cinematography. Oh. You know, they colored um, the, the uh, like, for the grass that's actually hair, and they just colored it green. And that's the only way they could get it to move. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, like, I just don't like rewatching or rereading stuff. So, like, I've already seen Shrek, so, like... I can't remember Shrek. Last time I watched it, I was probably, like, I don't know when it came out. I was young. I don't want to make up an age. It's really old. It today. Today? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's an anniversary! Oh. We're celebrating! Oh my god. started her exam and I'm back at my desk gonna start working on some German so I have my little grammar book and then all the notes from class I'm um, just gonna go through like the grammar and like try to get vocab I have quizlets to do like vocab and stuff and then to practice translating I have some short stories I can do and then hopefully that would be enough for today just to feel confident and stuff but I guess we'll see later in the day I have studied a little bit and then I have just finished a girl's a half form thing um that my roommate really loved so I was like okay I'll try and read it um like this next week or so and now I've actually finished it so um yeah I really liked it um the reading style is really hard for me to actually find a decent flow and comprehension but like it does click eventually but like it's very hard to like get into the rhythm and I don't know if that's just me with my dyslexia that's finding it harder to 
but um, it, it's still like enjoyable and whatnot, and it does it is it adds interesting things to like the story. But um, just be warned. But it's not bad. But it's just like um, I don't know. For for some reason, I thought because it starts when the main character is younger. I thought it was just like how the author is having like a kid think, but um, that stays pretty consistent throughout the story. But then also, um, yeah, I really recommend it. It's, I believe it's like an Irish author and I want to do get more into that. And then Cara's always like trying to rep and plug uh, Irish authors. So I'm here for that. And then um, I also finished Shadow and Bone last night and I did really like it overall. But there's a couple things in the book that I was like, I'm. It's probably was written like, you know, early to early 2010s and stuff, like that kind of like fantasy YA type of thing, like that was just used to. Um, but let's just hope the other books get better. Um, just between the two dudes, sucky choices. Um, either my thinking is either get with both of them at the same time or get with none of them and right now she's leaning towards one um and i'm just like honestly girl either have fun with it or find better people because they're both horrible in their own way um but hopefully i can watch the show now because it's the netflix show that was came out like a month ago um but yeah so those are the books i'm doing now i'm probably gonna try and make a bigger dent into you love me it's the oh, i'll get it it's like the third you book so um the series like the netflix tv series and then the books they're like thrillers and stuff um so because i read the other two like february ish february march ish um because i got them really, really cheap from the store that was closing here um like last term and then I was like, oh, let's just watch it, see how they are from the movies, like, try to get into, like, more thrillers and stuff. But, um, <laughs> if you, if you're, like, in, if you ever see me reading this, I'm literally, like, so upset half the time because the character's so frustrated. I know why, and she's doing a good job at it, but it's still annoying. So maybe once I finish the third one, it's sort of thick, like, because the other ones were all, like, paperbacks, but, like, Hardbacks just feel longer, let me tell you. Um, and then, so then I can do a little seri um, video on the whole series talking about that. Um, cause that. Cause I'm not really into horror or thriller, so that would be very interesting. So hopefully um, th this book doesn't suck. Um, as far as my next book, I might get on, I might, cause I ordered A Little Life. So I might try to read that. And then maybe a comic book for a friend to do more books with buddies type of thing or besties books with besties video but um but yeah because i have a final on friday so i'm not really like thinking that too far ahead just like get to friday get it over with and then we can fully dive into books but um you know just trying to finish the set but yeah and then later i have my class for for the psychology, it's like a little short course, just like sort of an intro to the field. And that's the one I sort of want to go into as like my main job. Um, and then I might call my friends, but then I'll also film a video between the two things. And then somehow eat, because the class is six to eight. I might call friends at like nine or something like that. So like, it's going to be a busy night, but um, you know, we got stuff to do. We're a busy, busy person, but we also have fun. Did call my friends back home. We played this game, but it involves spelling because computers. Um, but it was still fun. And then we hung out with just the flat um, and everything. So it was a nice night. Um, met a couple of people from down the hall um so that's always fun and i'm just doing laundry and then i don't want to do it myself i don't want to study i have an exam tomorrow but hopefully we can get there but yeah no glasses look horrible but um i fell asleep in my contacts so morning um might go on a walk with 
Bailey to a train station because he has to go home for a job. But, um, but yeah, just a chill day. Also, might try to read later on. But, um, but yeah, yeah. just a couple minutes before 9 30 a.m and that's my german exam starts um but yesterday was very chill just very like relaxed um we yeah i just wake up car make pancakes and then i can laundry and then i walk to the train station i uh, so that's what that was and then nothing seemed interesting so i just read a little bit and then i also just watched a lot of housewives the Beverly Hills one. So, car is getting us all on it. Um, I don't know, normally I don't like shows like that, but it's passing the time. Uh, and then after my exam, I should um, go to use bookstore. So, that's like a reward. Uh, but yeah, so, see you on the flip side. My exam is over, so it's the last time I'll be needing to read this packet and go on Moodle. Um, and everything, but yeah, so summer, <laughs> but look outside, it's all just rainy. <laughs> novel she gets married has an affair and then time passes and later on it all just catches up to her and it's just how she deals with that he read it in complet and he liked it so we'll give it a go someday and then the last one is woman of the classics and one of my roommates harriet is wants to do classics as her like degree degree so i feel like this would be interesting because it just like compilates all the different um like female characters from the classics and stuff into one place. No, it, it looks it looks amazing. So of course I had to get it and she would actually enjoy it. So you know. And then we went to Caledonia Books, just right down just right down Byers Road or something. Haven't been in there before. I've always seen it. Um, again, amazing place. And I decided to get was myth and primitive psychology. So I think it just explains like why certain things kept showing up, like like every place pretty much has a creation myth, or like there's always just these commonalities, like why it happens, or just I guess how they cope and stuff. Oh, <gasps> the H fell. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it just explains all that. Okay. Yeah. This is what fell. Yeah. Guess who stole this one night? Um, Hi. it's our lovely roommate, Ailey. Cause the, cause the showers, kitchens, and laundry room have giant letters going up the side of the- <laughs> <laughs> There's a code there! Oh, I also stole a code. 
What else? Can I show up Oh yeah. Um, so the, there's just letters going up the wall saying, oh, kitchen, bathroom, laundry. Um, so, H. Um, yeah. I wasn't the first person to see Oh, up the, the roof, the, the, the halls are just wrecked. Oh, we also stole these from, pri uh, not Primark, Waitrose. Waitrose. I know. Um, We're, yeah. we're kitchen goblins, because yeah. why sit in your room when you can sit in the kitchen and feel like no time has passed? Yeah, turn on 6 p.m. Yeah. It must be almost 6 p.m. Yeah. We're like 45 minutes away from 6. Um, awesome. Yeah, so. I just know it's after 2 and before 6, because that's where my watch is waiting to me. Nice, nice. I'll let you go. Okay. You never need to get me yeah. to confiscate, yeah. I guess. Okay, thank you. Um, and then Kier has also, he also recommended this, Nana, um, it's a, I think it's just about like the second French Empire and like that, how it like it leads to its downfall. She is currently naked, so that's why I'm covering it up, um, but it seems interesting, um, he, he recommended it, he liked it in Conflict, or he just liked it, and I was like, I'll give it a try. He also recommends the, the author, this one, and then what's the other one? This, this author and then this one, I'll put them in the description. Um, but yeah, and then, cause my older sister does French as a part of her major, minor. Cause she's, she has like a tri major and somehow French is involved. So I got her a little poetry book. I couldn't find the OG one I wanted, but I hope these are up to par for her. It's by, I don't know, Pierre de, Ronsard or something, but I hope she has fun just reading them um, and everything. Cause I got her a different book a couple weeks ago that's in French. It's like the stories of the hummingbird or something. Um, so she can have fun exploring different books um, and poems that she wouldn't have got across, but in French. Um, and then maybe she can help me read a couple of them cause I know French, but I only took three years and she's doing it in school. But yeah, so that's the books. Um, we also, for lunch, uh, we're out because we got hungry. Um, I got well, some scones, or scones as they berate me. Um, and then I got these Tonics tea cakes. I love them. I've only really found them here. I, I might have to look hard back home, but I really like these. These are amazing. Um, uh, if I could get find a pillow of these, I would. Like it just it's tonics. Um, and then yeah, I don't know what else do we do. We went to M&S for the little tins of like G and T. Um, yeah, Eurovision tomorrow. Yeah, baby. How are you feeling about your first Eurovision? Do you want to share your thoughts? Um, as far as Eurovision goes. My expectations are really high, but also really low at the same time. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Um, I, I think I'm just excited to see what happens. Oh, Leia said to watch Ukraine. She liked Ukraine. Ukraine, she's watching... I said Ukraine. Before. Okay. I so, like going in with it. I know. I only know Iceland's one, because I love Ukraine. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I, I, I haven't been watching the semis, but I, YouTube them later, right? Yeah. I never watch the sense, I always just go in. Because yeah. I don't like to know what's gonna happen. Otherwise it's boring. Yeah. So yeah. So there's your different approaches to Eurovision. Um you make a video on Eurovision approaches. Okay. Yeah. Um I'll I'll keep you updated tomorrow what's gonna happen. Um we we're gonna make a cake. So hopefully you see the cake and I don't forget to not get the cake. Um yeah. I'll also make potatoes, because I guess that's my thing now. I'm at least a little British. I like potatoes now. Okay. Have fun. Oh, what were we doing? Oh, I uh, just gonna go the books that you got. Okay, should I get the books that I put on me? Obtain. This is a very successful challenge. Yes. You don't want to be that like guy. No. Okay, no. you're okay. <laughs> so, um, the first book that I got is called um, Thank You for Smoking. Mm -hmm. and it will be backwards on the camera. Yeah. But just imagine that says thank you for smoking. Um, 
um, and it, this this book is a book I read before. It's also a film, and it's got uh, the guy who plays Two Face in the Dark Knight. Um, you know and um, it's about a man who um, he, he's like a, a lawyer trying to stand up for like the smoking industry, the tobacco industry. But, yeah, and he's like trying to get them. Um, you know, try to like get their way to be able to advertise the and stuff. So, but the problem is, there's also the moral dilemma. But mostly, it's like a, a satire. And it, like, it, just, it just takes a minute out of like the industry and the people who complain about the industry and yeah, him and everyone. So, no one's sourcing. But it's, um, yeah, it's quite good to make, to make you think. The cat, the cat, the place where the cat was nice. The cat, have you told them about the cat on top of the books? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Even got a photo. Even got a photo, even got a photo. Iconic. I know. I'm like, how much for the cat? Yeah. Um, and then the second one is this big boy, which um, is Ulysses by James Joyce, who's an Irish author. Mm -hmm. um, and I bought it on a whim because Virginia Woolf said he was good, and I trust what Virginia Woolf says. Queen. Queen. Bicon. Um, so, yes, and it's very weird, and it's got the whole, like, passage Number. line, yeah. numbers, yeah, numbers. Like in the Bible, when it has the little numbers on each like, uh, passage. Giant. Yeah, um, and so it's, I don't, it's probably going to be very weird if I haven't read it yet. But um, it takes place over a day. Over a day. It's one of the hardest yeah. books to read. And it's like apparently it's like a new the interpretation of the Odyssey, which is like the, the old Greek um, play. Um, so that should be interesting. Have fun. Yeah, I will. So yes. Um, um, uh, but books, books are cool. Um, also, Emile Zola um, is very good, and I, if you already showed me that, yeah. Okay, Emile Zola is very good, um, and I like him a lot. Um, and um, he is also a bit of an activist himself. A little fun fact. So. Um, he was, yeah, he wrote the famous uh, Jacques letter, which is, um, there was like a, an affair over like a uh, officer in the army who got accused of spying, but like the actual reason, like he was set up because he was Jewish, and so like it was like unfair, um, and Emile Zola wrote this long, well, not actually very long essay, but wrote this essay, Jacques, where he like called and I'll call that on their, on their bullshit basically. And um, yeah, and, and eventually the officer got released and the actual spy got put in prison. So, Emil Zola, <laughs> pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool guy. Uh, but that was fun.
Okay, so we're back from Tesco to get provisions and whatnot. I got a little grilled cheese from the meal deal. Um, we're making potatoes currently right now. Also a cake, cause you're vision. Um, yeah, um, I don't know what else. But yeah. Send a photo of you crying. Oh wait, but yeah, that's it. Oh, I didn't realize you were Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Phil about okay. how he was cousin it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Because he had hair in his face. Interesting. Are you excited, Kara? I've already cracked his spine. No. What's your, what's your like predictions for the book? Death. <laughs> oh. He's a gay man. And <laughs> Death and a gay man. Oh, the two moods. Yeah. Are you hyped though? Yeah. We'll keep you updated if we when you read it this summer. Yeah, I'll send pictures of me crying, hopefully. Yeah. And we'll have we'll like annotate it together and everything. So um, we love water stones. <laughs> we went in just to use the restroom and Kara is like, I'll just get it. See, the thing is, I'm hoping that you guys will just continue to buy books and I can just be a little busy and like <laughs> steal them. Ailey, you know me. I have more at home. You're a big, big person. One day, you are what you eat. You're just going to wake up and I'm going to be like, Susan's a pile of books, I guess. Thanks, Kara. last night and that was fun Italy won and then we just like talked and stuff which is very nice and then this morning well early afternoon whatever we went to a little cafe very nice I had a little cortado love her um, we got a giant sourdough and now we're going to Waitrose to get balsamic um, yeah so we just like read in a little cafe and then tonight there's Cara Early afternoon, as if it isn't like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sometimes it'd be like that. Early afternoon on our schedule. Yeah. Um, I we're, we're, look bad at <laughs> <laughs> we're, I'm making it look better. Um, I mean, yesterday I declared it was summer and now it's raining, so. Uh, no, I, I think the weather just needs to follow my commandment. It's, it's just wrong. This is wrong. Um, but might call Jennifer, my therapist, later. Therapy's cool. And then um, might film a video with Allison. And then we have Just Dance. And then we might get tattoos as well. Are you guys hype? Girl boss. GGG. Um, yeah. So we'll bring you along when that happens. So yeah. That's what we've been up to. Okay. So... I'm back. It was raining. I was so upset. Um, but I had my talk with Jennifer. That was very lovely. 
and then we filmed the video mm -hmm. for the Harry Styles video. Singer, how'd you find it? Oh, the amount of times I wanted to sing. Oh my god. It got into like, what was it? It was she, and I was like, she, she. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was very much fun. I love talking fun. with you. Yeah. yeah. So you have like little nuggets of stuff and you it's the stuff like this you get into top so you would never like come up a lot in conversation. Um and we have similar views but it's like we basically just both like Yeah, that too. She reads the books, I listen to the songs, and you do Yeah. Yeah. But you know, different live views and stuff and they'll just pop in, but I had a lot of fun. I don't know, I was nervous. Why? Just because like I had to talk in front of me. I thought I was going to be a lot more nervous than I was. I did most of the talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I had fun. Yeah, it's been a rainy day. Yeah. Um, it's like May 22nd. Yeah. It's jank. I mean, it'll do. It'll do. Hopefully Feed it the flowers. Out. It feeds the flowers, keeps the grass green. Yeah. And um, keeps the fishes swimming. Yeah. Hopefully it uh, dries up soon though. It's sunny. Yeah. I'm going to go to the beach. You know, it's... It, Alright, oh, yeah, I think I found a beach today. It's called Inburn Beach or something. Long to go. Okay. Yeah. Plans. Plans. Next vlog time. Nothing. No. Okay, you're filming. That's what you guys